Now, Jeremy Corbyn got into some trouble with Andrew Neil in his interview where he said he had not met the IRA and he was then photographed lots of people from the IRA during the course of his career. You yourself said that it would be um, a defeat for the British state would be a great liberation, a great move forward at that period of time. Do you regret your support for the IRA right back in the 80s? The, that particular quote you're referring to comes from a now defunct left newspaper and it had as well as but you said it, didn't you? no 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 but what i'm saying to you is this it was 34 years ago i had a rather splendid afro at the time i don't have the same hairstyle and Do i don't have the, have the same views it is 34 okay, that's... years on the hairstyle has gone and some of the views have gone so you you no longer uh, in any you you regret the fact of what you said then about the ira the hairstyle has gone, the views have gone. We've all moved on in 34 years, have, haven't you, Andrew? We've all moved on. I'm just wondering, do you regret what you said about the IRA at the, at the, the, the height of the bombing? What specifically do you want me to regret? Um, well, you, you, I can read the quote for you and find it here. Basically, what you said was that a defeat of the IRA would be uh, devastating for the British people. And it was, a, a defeat for the British state was a good thing, you said, at the time when the IRA was attacking the British state. And you said that the reason for the violence was entirely caused by the British presence in Northern Ireland. I'm saying, do you think those statements now are wrong? It was 34 years ago. I've moved on. You've moved on. All right. I've got the quote here, finally. You said, the, the, the Ireland is our struggle. Every defeat of the British state is a victory for all of us. A defeat in Northern Ireland will be a defeat indeed, was the quote. Um, 34 years ago, and I've moved on. Okay.